channel sport this morning is 97 days to the 2018 FIFA World Cup in Russia and our own official countdown begins uh, right about now. Cecilia, today we'll be focusing on um, the stadiums that are supposed to host an event, 12 stadiums uh, in total, but tonight, uh, today it's just going to be about the Luzhniki Stadium. Yeah, that's a big one for the opening ceremony. That's, and the, also biggest the, stadium, that's the biggest right. stadium, 81,000 capacity. Wow. I mean, I remember before it was demolished in 2013 and you know, started rebuilding, uh, it was ready in 2017. Exactly. And then he hosted a particular game uh, that had more than 100,000 people. Mm. But then, you know, because of crowd trouble and all that, so they just had to reduce it for the World Cup. It's the eighth biggest stadium in Europe. So it's huge, it's big. And uh, if we get to the final, we'll play there. Yeah, okay. I mean, that's the, that's the target, <laughs> that's the right? Target, that's the target. target. I mean, um, it's a, when you hear you lose Nicky Stadium, uh, United fans and Chelsea fans easily like, remember, remember yeah. uh, the Champions League final in Moscow. 2008, right? But that's Didier the, Drogba. Right. That's the <laughs> uh, penalty shootout. Um, Terry <laughs> sleeping, sleeping and all and, that. Uh, and, and United lifting it. Mm. <laughs> but and, then... Yeah. Today, it's all about the World Cup, it's all about the World and Cup. it's all about the teams that will, you know, be having their opening game here, mm. and also the opening ceremony and the final games. But then if you take a look at the stadium, the, how big it is, you know, what uh, Russia has been able to do, especially when we know that everyone was thinking some of the stadiums would not be ready. Uh. But this one, I mean... It's and this one is ready to go. This one is good to go. go. Okay, it's good to go, It's yeah. good to go because they actually hosted a friendly as well too, mm -hmm. between Argentina and Russia at the end of last year. So it's all set, as you can see. This is where the opening ceremony will go down. This is where the final, uh, the final and the opening match uh, between uh, Russia, uh, Russia will actually go down as well too. And um, Russia and Saudi Arabia, that's the opener at the Luzhniki uh, Stadium. And um, we can't wait to see. Like, imagine wait. Nigeria going back. Uh, to the stadium to play the final. Yeah. Now the uh, third. <clears throat> okay, uh, it's possible, you know, <laughs> because um, I mean, everyone has been talking about the, the kind of score the Super Eagles had. Mm. That is a kind of score where they can actually cause an upset, you know, at the World Cup. Um, they will make a mark and all. Mm. Getting to the finals, uh, okay, will they get to the finals? We'll see if they can we'll do that. But then that. I'll wait for the quarterfinals first. Once you get to the quarterfinals, I'll start dreaming. You can start dreaming. I yes. mean, that's, that's the logical thing to do. I mean, don't get too carried away, uh, you know, from the very start. Let's have a look at uh, some of the games that we already said is going to host the final and the opening match, but it's going to host all the games uh, as well to learn. Cecilia, we'll just quickly run through uh, those matches uh, penciled down for the Lijniki Stadium. Russia versus Saudi Arabia, we talked about that already. It's not also a blockbuster. Going to host, sorry? No, I said not a blockbuster. I mean, yeah, for, the Russian, for, for the Russians, Russians it's a blockbuster. Yeah, it is now. Come on. <laughs> it's going to be packed. What are you talking it's about? No, I'm talking about the excitement. I mean, you want to see Russia. Just imagine it was between Russia and Germany. For come instance. On, come okay, on. we That's have Russia, Saudi enough. Arabia, then Germany, Mexico, Mexico, Portugal, and Morocco, then Denmark and France. So Morocco will have the opportunity, the African country, to play. To play. In this yeah. beautiful stadium. Yeah. Also, the Lichniki Stadium will also host um, knockout matches, round of 16, semi final, and the final. I mean, they've given out the best matches to this stadium. <laughs> of course, because it's the best. Wow. <laughs> they know why they're doing that. It's the best. And so, because of the capacity and the right. location in Moscow, the capital city mm. of Russia. So, that's why they're doing it's only that. Right. It's only right to do okay. that. But the, the game that we will all be looking forward to once, I mean, the group stages. Obviously, Germany and Mexico, Denmark and France, Portugal, Morocco. They are good games. I don't games. know why you're skipping good Saudi No, I'm looking Arabia at Russia, Russia and Saudi Arabia, I'm like, okay, it's not that competitive. Even okay. when you're going to watch a World Cup game, games, I mean, there are specific players you look up to, you just want to see. Mm. I mean, I'm not going to see anyone there. Okay. But Germany, of course, I'm going to see now. Portugal, of course, we know who we're going to see there. Morocco, of course, we know who we're going to see. Uh, France, okay. We know we're Star studded. Star studded. I totally get where you're going, but let's not take anything away from Russia and Saudi Arabia. Let's move on with the show now. I'm still on a countdown to the World Cup uh, in Russia. Everyone wants to be a part of it, including former president Seth Blatter. You recall Blatter was banned for six years, um, you know, from all football-related activities. But that's not going to stop him from going to the World Cup because he's come out to say and confirm now that he has accepted President Vladimir Putin's invitation to come to the World Cup. Cecilia, are you surprised that Blatter I'm not surprised at all wants to come to the World Cup? I'm not surprised because he's, he's, ask, he's making an intention to actually ask uh, the FIFA Ethics Committee to lift his six-year ban you know, from the sport. Mm. So when he's doing that, it tells you that he's going to be there if that 
on time before the World Cup. Let's listen to him now, confirming it. I have received an official invitation uh, by the head of state, uh, Mr. Putin. Uh, he's now in a re-election, but I think he, he will, uh, uh, in a few, uh, two weeks, he will be in an election, he will be re-elected, I'm sure. Uh, and I'm uh, honored, and I have accepted this invitation. Um, Seth Blatter wants to go to the World Cup. It's not about that alone. He actually still wants to clear his name. Cecilia, that's what he's on about now. He wants FIFA to reconsider the case um, and just clear his name. He's not very comfortable, you know, having that uh, ban that hanging on, you know, over his head uh, that uh, he's been banned from football after leading uh, FIFA for 17, 17 years. years. He's and trying so hard violation. to get his name cleared. It, that happened in 2015, this is 2018, is yeah. so we don't know, he's already serving it, I mean, it's been on. So yeah, he, wants to he wants to clear his, I think the thing is, it, Blatter is not so, you know, he's not really so uh, sad about mm -hmm. the suspension. What he's sad about is because of, you know, what is hanging over his head, okay, that he was, you know, he violated uh, the ethics uh, commission and all that. So because of that, so he needs to tell everyone he's actually innocent of all the things he has been accused of. Mm. That's why he's really eager to do that. Well, mm. let's listen to him now talking about that. It is hanging uh, like the sword of Damocles uh, on my head because we never know what will happen. But, but it's now two years and a half uh, this uh, file has not moved. Now they start to move. And they start to move. It's interesting to know at the just time when Michel Platini brought this case uh, to the uh, uh, Committee of Human, European Committee of Human Rights in Strasbourg to say it's not correct what they do. And I think this has then uh, given now an, uh, an uh, input uh, to the authorities in Switzerland to, re not to reopen, to go into the case. In the same time, I am looking uh, to uh, to, to have a solution also to, towards the Ethics Committee of FIFA to lift the ban, uh, this uh, suspension, which is a nonsense, finally, uh, to, to be suspended.